Pebble Beach's 17 mile drive. It's arguably one of the most celebrated scenic roads in California. On one side of the road is world-class golfing and homes that only the rich can afford. On the other, his unforgettable coastal views and wildlife. It'll cost you $11.25 to drive a car on 17 mile drive, but if you're on an electric bike, it's free. You know, the best part about the e-bike is, uh, you don't, I mean, if you get tired, you don't have to pedal. Exactly, yeah, exactly. I don't have an e-bike, so I took a tour with Florendo Salas from Big Sur Adventures in Pacific Grove. So they call it 17 mile drive. I mean, is it really 17 miles? It's really 17 miles, yeah. Before the expensive homes and the golf courses, Pebble Beach was a sand mine owned by the Pacific Improvement Company, which was a consortium of railroad barons. And so they came in, they brought the railroads all the way up to here, and they created a sand plant that essentially took all of the dunes that were here. In 1892, 17 Mile Drive was built, and it was built for two reasons. First, to provide activity for the wealthy guests staying at the Hotel Del Monte in Monterey, and two, to sell land near the newly constructed golf courses. 17 Mile Drive was basically created as an opportunity to show people the real estate that the Pacific Improvement Company owned uh -huh. along this section of coastline. As time went on, more money was pumped into development, and people from all over the world started taking tours of 17 Mile Drive to experience the amenities and natural wonders of Pebble Beach. Wonders like the beaches and the vibrant blue water, which is unique to the Monterey coast. So the beaches along Pebble Beach are just quartz crystals. That's that beautiful white sand. When you get the sunlight reflecting off those crystals down below, we get these blues, we get these greens, and this is just it's gorgeous. Tourists aren't the only ones attracted to Pebble Beach. Marine animals like seals, otters, whales, and migrating birds oh, call this stretch of ocean home. Is that snow all over that <laughs> rock there? Is that what that is? No, no, no snow here. <laughs> and a great spot to see some of those marine animals is at the iconic white-colored bird rock. Come here 100 years ago, there would have been a lot more white stuff on there. Okay. So in the 1930s, they actually came out and harvested all of the guano, basically all the bird poop, off of this rock because, well, that's a great fertilizer. And what do you have around us? A lot of lawn, right? Golf courses everywhere. Just a few miles from Bird Rock is another icon at Pebble Beach, the Lone Cypress. One of the most photographed, I, I think, in the country is what they say now, yeah. Possibly the world. I can't imagine there's another tree that gets more recognition than this. Holding on for dear life at the edge of a rocky spire, the Lone Cypress is estimated to be more than 250 years old and is among the last of California's old growth Monterey Cypress. This is it, yeah. It's the last place on the planet that they've been able to find a way to survive. These wind-beaten trees can survive gale force storms and pounding waves, but they require the unique foggy climate that only the Monterey coast can provide. What that does is as the fog runs through these trees, they're able to actually gather that moisture and precipitate down. And during the summer months, these trees will basically water themselves. Monterey cypress only live about 300 years, and the old growth Monterey cypress at Pebble Beach are nearing the end of their life. But had it not been for the protections put in place by developers at Pebble Beach, the wildlife and the trees may have been lost. And so it's one of those things that it's here for now, but it's not forever. And it's just one of those, you know, a reminder for us, I think, of the impermanence here on the coast and, and also how wild the coast is. From 17 Mile Drive in Pebble Beach, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads.